Hello, hello everybody, it's Web Prof Java, and we're back again with a new internet historian video. I mean, it's 10 months old, but it's new to me, god damn it. This is I Am Become Fancy Theater. Okay, let's go, let's go. This is, yeah, fancy my ass, but let's see it. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Hey, what's up, brother? Look at you. Uncultured. Oh. Unsophisticated. Okay. <sighs> Middle class. First off, middle class does not exist in Bulgaria, brother. So, uh, I go a little lower and you hit exactly where my ass is at. <laughs> no, don't speak. You'll just make me row up. Thanks. I'd say cover up with this dinner jacket, but I'm afraid that you'd get your head stuck on the sleeve and asphyxiate. <laughs> Listen, lowball. Do Damn. you want to low be? Ball? Oh, fine. Oh, oh. Don't you? Ew. What the fuck was that? Why did you make that noise? Ew, it was like a cat trying to throw up. Fancy. Like huh. what? That's what? French. I don't expect you to know what it means. No one likes that. But I have some good stuff. news. Before this financial year ends, I? I have decided to make a charitable deduction. Oh. It's Ooh. you, champ. For you see, I... I can have premarital yes! Virus. I, I, I will take that. I have made yes. several videos, though, which will show you how to bluff your way to the inner circles. Yo. Undetected. But they, didn't they shut down the island? Why would I want yes. to try and go there again? By the time the no, elites again, find I mean, out, first. Neon Genesis Evangelion is psychological and intense. It will be too late. <laughs> I get you in, you eat all your doughs, <laughs> we get out. That's the plan. And let's begin your instruction Smart. with... Smart. Those are the best. Theater. Yeah. The YouTube premium of up. Yeah, we have a theater thing in my town. I've gone a couple of times. It's not bad. A society. It's not that big of a theater. And the first thing. section? Symphony. Symphony? Never been to a symphony in the my life. The first period of performance. That's called Baroque. From Bar 1600 Baroque? to 1750. This featured Bach and Vivaldi. Now there Dude. was also... Bro, why are they all fat and ugly? Uh, a guy named Giuseppe Tartini, and he was the best one of them all, because okay, one evening, he fine. had a dream, Damn. where the devil showed up and presented him with a deal. <laughs> the de devil bridge was up with those teeth. The devil would become okay, his teacher. Okay. It, it's been two minutes, I'm pretty sure I'm offending everybody. I and stop. on him everything he knew about music. Yes. Once I'll Tartini had base. learnt everything he could, he handed over his violin and asked the devil to play. Hmm. What did they all do? The devil yes. played Wait. the greatest musical piece that Tartini had ever heard. I have never heard. <gasps> Wait, okay, let's read that Musical shit. piece. My boys fancy I felt in rapture transport enhanced my breath failed me. Giuseppe Tartini. That Tartini had ever heard. I mean, Giuseppe sounds like he's on the good shit. Tartini woke up with a gasp, and he tried to recreate what he had heard in the dream. But? And what he wrote down was his most famous piece, the best mm. thing he had ever written. And he said, this is shite compared to the original. <laughs> this is nothing better than a tribute. And that's where you get the Tenacious Sea song tribute. from. That's a good he song. He named this piece The Devil's Trill. And he claimed the that the difference triumph. between his version and the version in the dream was so great that he would have smashed his violin Damn. and quit music forever Damn. had he not needed it for his job. <laughs> Classical, 1750. <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of people feel like that, right? Not just musicians. Mozart and Beethoven. Yeah, show up about like, these motherfuckers. Da, 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 da. Good shit. Now, I listen Beethoven to them. Beethoven was famously known for going deaf. Once that happened, everyone told him that he should just quit music but he became forever. Better. But he Somehow. just wouldn't hear it. Yeah, what the hell? Anyway, there's so much you I can say it. about these two. Uh, Romantic <laughs> era. Now Ooh. that's when everybody started kissing, and it's my mm. favorite. Great piece. Mwah. Oh, yeah. you played wonderfully. That guy looks like the dude on the right looks like my balls like when I try and shave that shit. Mwah. Hey, we also enjoyed a listening. Job, but not good Mwah. enough. All you need to know Ooh. about this one it's is Chopin the and there. Berlioz. Okay. Berlioz, how I'll be honest, I know who do these two. Whoever was not getting any kisses. Oh. He was relatably painfully single, living shit. alone in Paris. How are you alone in Paris? The city of love. Yeah, like brother. So here's how it started. He's there and he's in his early twenties. 
and he is looking for a new GF. Ah, so one day, he attends a Shakespearean play. And on stage, he spots an actress. Harriet. And he immediately falls in love with her. Oh. oh. He wrote her many oh, notes, blessing. confessing his love. <laughs> but her DMs went unreplied. Shit. So he began writing a symphony about her. Ah, how can she ignore this? And also around this time, he started smoking a lot of opium. But ah. Don't worry about that. The good, anyway, good so opium. he wrote this piece just yes. for her. However, his DM still went unreplied. Damn, bro. For several months, he started to get quite disheartened. <sighs> Until he saw another girl. Oh. Good. So he immediately fell okay. in love with her instead. She was and bad he said, back in the you day, know what? I guess. I'm going to change that symphony I wrote. So now it's about <laughs> this other lady and right not about there. that ugly one that I didn't like anyway. This time, <gasps> happily, she <gasps> reciprocated oh. and they fell in love and were set to marry. Da, da, da. Suddenly, but what the fuck? phones haven't been invented. Oh, yeah, yes, one. hello. I'm busy. Awesome. What is this oh. in that? Rome to study? Absolutely. I'll catch the first flight out. So oh. Berlioz went to Rome to study music. However, Villa Medici while for he was years. away, he got some news. Berlioz. Oh. Emil. I have to tell you something. Oh, shit. Sacre bleu. Oh, Some shit. other more handsome musician swooped in and married his girl while... By the way, can we just speak a little bit about what the hell is wrong with this picture? Because the body is not supposed... So why is she like... She's like... Like her fucking... This part of your body, why is it so big on this woman? He was in Rome. This is a woman? And they ran and she got dick away balls, together. Like three of them. Berlioz not three was dicks, three furious. Balls. And he set his mind Are to solving the problem. Are you killing? I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna murder her yeah. and... Okay, I was kinda right. Her lover. Hey, I thought only him. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a self murder. Wait, don't those guns require like 10 minutes to reload? Oh, was quick with it, I guess. All right, so Damn. this gets pretty elaborate. His idea oh, is God. to dress up as a. Not a joke. This really has described his more with affection and for more than the hippopotamus. A housemaid. He has bought both poison <laughs> and two guns. Uh huh. Now he is going to sneak into the house okay. of his ex fiance Damn, and there she cute, and though. her mother will be sipping tea, Thalamus? which he has already poisoned. Uh -huh. Then he will f pull off the clothing and reveal himself. Blam, blam, sad over. Okay, why shoot them after you've poisoned them? So, he heads back home to Paris. I really want them dead. But while on his travels there, you know, it takes quite a while, he has to change carriages. Oh, sure. And when he does that, he leaves the guns in one of the little cubbies. So he's lost smart, all huh? his weapons. What is he going to do now? What are you going to do, brother? Well, his next leg on the stop is Genoa, Genoa. And he decides, you know what? Let's just skip the murder and go straight to the finale. The so he murder? stops off in the port city of Genoa. And he's there at the side of the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. He pauses for a moment. Then he throws himself in. Now, some people see this whole thing happen, and they think he's had an accident, so they run in to try to save him. They pull him to the shore. <laughs> <gasps> he lived. Oh. So he has now reached his lowest point. He dejectedly continues home. He gets back to Paris and he wallows around, feeling pretty sorry for himself. Why? You just killed decides, two people, brother. You know what? I may as well do what I do best in Which times is of trouble. Kill your wife again? Smoke a lot of opium. Oh. And when enough. I do that, I shall write a symphony. Although I ain't gonna name it after that hoe who stole my heart. And so he went back to work. But here's the thing. It was the greatest piece he had oh, ever shit. written. Guess, and it premiered two more people. It's a huge crowd. Wives. You know what? It was a smash a hit. Fantastic. Number one on iTunes. Damn. On iTunes? Well, then, and here's a bloody plot twist. Remember the first girl? Uh, Camille? Well, she attended that concert and she realized that Berlioz mm, bro. was... Okay, are these women supposed to be cute? Hot, any of the above, she's balding, she has shoulders bigger than mine, titty smaller than mine, a biceps kind of similarly sized. What the fuck is that thing? That's Frankenstein's monster. And then she wrote a letter to your boy saying, how good your 
bloody symphony was. And sorry about not replying. I just put my phone down. I got super busy or whatever. Just chilling. By the way, I love you. Ooh. What? Internet pause. Pause. Yeah, we're back. My internet died for a second. I just what put the my hell? phone down and got Dude, super busy or whatever. Well. By the way, I love you. Bro, you can't just do that. Okay. Okay, we're actually back this time. I God. love you. And so Berlioz goes, well, I love you too. And a year later, they were married. So no one caught him about uh, the previous a beautiful moral of the story. See, fellas, don't jump in the Mediterranean. Anyway, a <laughs> few years later, they got the divorced. Laid. Because weirdly, Wait. he cheated on his wife with the housemaid. Not that one. A different one. <laughs> but then he married... Brother in Christ, look at it. It's a giraffe. It is a giraffe. Look at the neck. Read that housemaid. Right. You look at that like, yeah, I'm a but cheat. then when he died later on, for some reason, he gets buried with both of them. It's kind of strange. What the hell? But uh, moving on to the impression of going to for that guy. Now that's Claude de... De Bussy. Let go, brother. Claude de what? <laughs> you know what? You better go to ad time. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to the Nord okay, Street. Uh, Inter historian ad. You gotta watch them. It's like Today we're playing Assassin's Creed Ooh. Three. Chat, uh, chat. Was... Come on, chat, chat, chat. Nord, hey, Nord, oh, everyone's Nord, spamming Nord. Nord in the chat. Is that what they do? I okay. Damn. Whoa, a new follower. Hey, oh, welcome uh, to the night. Dream Team Sub Cream. Uh, thank you so much for the great. To oh, unfollowed. Supreme. Sorry, guys. Hey, it's the cleaners are here. Concord. Sorry, just just ignore the mess. I just I haven't cleaned hey. up these bottles. Why are they all yet. Asian? No, are you trying to say some tea. shit? It's just tea. <laughs> <sighs> I just I stream for ten hours a day. Damn. And it's like the algorithm is against me or something. How come everyone is watching Asmon stream and I'm not getting any new followers? I'm playing the games. What more do you want me to do? Nord? Just yeah. a quick word from the sponsor. NordVPN is Nord the VPN that you can trust. Mm. So go to nordvpn.com slash internet story for shit. a huge deal on a two-year plan plus two four bonus plan. months God, for damn. free plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. My mm. God. Today we are going to be watching the new Snow White movie. I love the intro. Oh, I love seeing that Disney the logo. That's White brilliant. Movie. That's brilliant. Guys, I'm just gonna. Feet. I'm just gonna get up and get some food. I'll Dirty be back. feet. I'll be back in a minute. Let me clean them, Queen. Oh. <laughs> what the f? Who reported my stream? <laughs> I guess you can't Hello, watch my movies. Hello, Nordlings. Welcome back to the stream. Can we get some ends in the chat, guys? No, not like that. Hey, yo. Welcome back to the um, the ASMR stream for NordVPN. You. Today I'm going to be drinking a, a can of Coke while I say the word Nord. Ew. Ah, Nord. Ew. Hey. I just heard the cancer in stomach bubble. Thank you for the tier 3 sub. With NordVPN, it I can thinking? be outside my house, Jack's <laughs> Films house, Sumito's house, Ordinary Things house. Just like that. Welcome back to the hot tub stream. What do you guys mean? How many hot dogs can I put in my mouth? Oh. Why? I'll just... Oh my you god. Put them anywhere $5,000 donation. Thank you so much. You guys are such good friends. Ew. Streaming's not for me. I'd rather go to nordvpn.com slash to get a huge deal on a two-year plan, plus four months for free. And over. over. Netflix? Watching Netflix, are you? <laughs> Bro, that motherfucker just coming up from under. All tucked in with a three-hour essay on Good Game Good, and here's why. Fallout New Wait. Vegas is actually the only based Bethesda game. Turn that off. I've got something. The only based Bethesda game? Pretty sure one and two are way more based than Fallout New Vegas. For you, much less enjoyable and far more expensive. We're going to the theater. Oh. Theater from the ancient Greek theatron. The most Theotron. dramatic of the Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> it means a place for viewing. Here's a Roman theater. They were yep. quite simple back then. You have the stage, mm -hmm. the auditorium, and the vomitorium. 
Now, for a very long time, people thought that the vomitorium was a place where the Romans would gorge themselves, where they would eat so much that they would throw up okay, that's and disgusting. then gorge themselves again because they were so decadent okay, can and you stop, off please? the please? But it comes from the word vomir, which means to spew forth because that's where people go in and out. Mm, so vomitorium is just a dramatic way of saying the entrance. Now, if you skip forward to the 1800s, things are getting a lot more modernized. It's England. But they still didn't have electric. The water. So they had what's called the limelight. And that's why they say to be in the limelight, mm. to be the star of the show, what they would do was take a piece of quicklime and heat it up quicklime. super, super hot, which will naturally glow very bright. Oh. They would then take reflective mirrors and lenses to focus the beam, and they would use that as an early form of the spotlight. Sure, that's smart. The limelight is not because it's green, but because it's made from quick lime. Mm. In the modern day, things are a lot more advanced, and they can do all sorts <laughs> so of cool shit, with like lasers going into your eyeballs and all sorts of stuff. But it's not just the tech that's had an upgrade, well, it's the there? architecture as well. In Elizabethan times, they had the yard, and the you could yard? get in here for about a penny apiece. And that's where all the poor people stood to watch the shows. It's like when you go to open I already feel like I belong there. Timer, and Fucking you end hell. up with the worst seats in the IMAX Damn. there, right? It's a big ass but chin, thankfully, brother. in modern times, we have fixed that problem. We no kicked out people? all the poor people and we sunk the floor down low. That's fucked and up. put in an orchestra. <laughs> I kick my home. Now, these out. things are usually six to 12 feet deep, mm. so they're not obstructing the audience's view. But having a giant hole at the end of a stage no. is quite dangerous. No. <laughs> so usually they put a big net there as well. And yet, a lot of people <laughs> still get pitted. Damn. Like a lot of people. In 2011, during a production of The Sound oh, of kids. Music, one of the lead actresses fell into the orchestra That's not kid. and was left paralyzed from the waist down. Damn. In 2009, a conductor, not a superconductor, just a regular one, fell 14 feet into the dark. 14 dark feet. And broke nine vertebrae and one ankle. Oh! Mamma mia. And oh, he brother. fell on his pointy conducting thing. At the Bolshoi Theatre, a, a violinist died from his injuries after... The sixth party of my friend to the past, he survived the falling issue, but died the falling day in hopes he had been working at theatre for four decades. The this theatre is prone to all sorts of accidents, God by the way. Damn. It's kind of cursed. But performers and musicians aren't the only ones falling into the pit. Where else is falling in 1988, an 82-year-old man fell from his balcony box seat oh, all fall? the way down into the pit during a performance of Macbeth. Are sure he wasn't? He died. Yeah, I mean, Very he's 88. If he falls, like, if he doesn't step straight on, he's going to die, Ooh. brother. Even At already age, dead people are getting pitted. You pee wrong, can you die? In 2016, you water, a wrong, man sprinkled his friend's ashes into the orchestra pit at the Met Theatre. Why? This happened during the intermission, and it was a sort of tribute to a mentor of his. But of yeah, course, but people went, that's what weird. the hell are you doing? And he goes, oh, uh, I don't know, and he flees the scene. <laughs> Everyone's coughing and sneezing up dead guy. And Damn, people that's think, a lot is this guy. anthrax? What is this? Oh. So they call in the anti-terrorism oh, police <laughs> and the whole show. Roger Kaiser, that's a cool ass name. I've seen by several Mrs. Sparkling, he was not trying to wrote an open letter for apology. He was not charged? It was cancelled for the rest of okay. the evening. That, that seems... Why not? He deserves to a be quick charged. Intermission. Oh god, what is it this time, brother? Or is it? Ooh, Fin TD. I am the trap master. Oh, he's a D&D master. Not like that. Master. Do not ask me to reveal my secrets. Why your fingers go like that? I have dedicated my life to what? the mysteries of the theater. Ah, the theater. She has so many enigmatic traps. Does she? Is Let us dead? start with the most simple, yet devious, the wall trap. The wall trap. It allows the actor to walk directly into the set piece. Oh shit. Ah, where did he go? Nobody the wall. knows. Cast your eyes over here. To the Bro, I remember those videos with this noise about uh, conspiracies everywhere. Any trap. Back in like 20 now the victim stands on this dumb waiter, and a counterweight launches their hapless body up onto the stage. Whish! Is that gang stage? In the though? olden days, this circle of flaps would sometimes go on top, and then that would make the whole thing just one way. 
Now, nice. back when they made this thing, they didn't have hydraulics. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Looking at that, that seems like a dead trap. Like, so how instead, they had like six stage hands mistake, pulling yeah. as fast as they could. And sometimes it would go totally wonky, or it wouldn't open properly, <laughs> or they'd only get about halfway through. <laughs> there. Oh. Oh well, I guess that's it. Yo? There's only two. <laughs> Wrong. This is the vampire trap. The vampire trap. And if trap. I want to come back up again. What do you do? This is called the sunroof trap. Very cool. Watch out for the closing doors on this one. I won't be honest, I would not trust any of these things. It managed to trap Spider-Man's foot back in a... Assemble that since they were seriously in the they became pinned on a trap door. Oh. Production in 2013. <laughs> Me and the Green Goblin, we collabed on this one. All right, there's one more. Oh. The ghost glide. Ghost what glide? you do is stand on this slide a bit, uh -huh. and it ascends diagonally, which makes it look like he's coming out of the ground. But the ladies, they are yawn and they're going, ooh, short ghost. But then, five foot, big five ghost. Five foot one, oh. five foot oh. two. Oh. All the ladies are turning their heads now. Five oh, foot yeah. three, <laughs> five foot. You have a little bit to go before they start turning their heads. Four, <laughs> five foot five. All the ladies are loving it. Now, I bet you're wondering, what happens I'm to the actors when they yet. go down these traps? <laughs> Are they dead and gone forever? Yes. Yes. Yes, sometimes. In 1888, <laughs> Frederick was Federici joking. was playing Damn. the role of Mephistopheles in Faust. Does that have something to do with meth or is it... Not? At the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. That As he descended the trap at the end of the play. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Forever. He had a heart attack and died. Never. Was talk Wait, okay, bro. That, you, he's playing that for three seconds. Who made it at him where he couldn't be revived? Never yeah. seen again. Why did he have a heart attack? So he's in seven. With this many deaths, the theater has Maybe become a met. highly haunted place. Jesus. Oh, yes. In fact, sometimes you can put your ear right up to the wall and you can hear two male ghosts wrestling. Can't fake uh -huh. that. Ah. Another ghost hey, hole. Don't look inside. Put your ear there, brother. <laughs> As the ghost Once hole, the glory hole, the ghost hole. That's why I wear the mask. Uh -huh. Anyway, because of all the ghosts, the theaters do whatever they can to Rhythm. keep the spirit. Just please remove your head from that hole. It's about to get hit by a dick. It's happy. God damn it. See this? It's called a ghost light. Uh -huh. When everything is closed, it is kept on always. Kept so on like for the put on for the same hands as a but also useful liability thing. Ghosts, so that they don't you know, bump their shins in the dark or whatever. Mm, makes sense, makes sense. Don't want the ghost angry. At the Palace or... Theatre in London, there has hey, been some ghostly that. activity. It seems to be a bit of a hot spot for ghostly for ghosts. activities. And that's why they... By the were... way, when I was a kid, if you stay... If you get up at like 6 in the morning on uh, Bulgarian TV, they'd watch these dudes that would go to places that were supposedly haunted. Everywhere was haunted where they went. It was absolute bullshit. Please keep two I empty it. It seats at the back so that the dumb ghosts kid. may sit there I'm and watch the now, show. You know. So that's why we traditionally kept a couple of seats off sale for the ghosts. Ah. However, Harry Potter is so popular that we, we sell those seats now. Oh. Also, Fucking ghosts. Ghost theaters <laughs> I <guess>. for one <laughs> day per week. And on those days, the ghosts are left Four to as ghosts. for each other in their own shows. Damn. Which they like, we think. I was worried about my own vagina. Uh -huh. Oh, finally, the vagina, vagina monologues. A culture of other vagina. The culture of other. How can I join that culture? You know, yeah, I he's wasn't always. Oh, that's a big ass balls for really. brother. In fact, Use that money from to a very to young age, I grew up in an orphanage. Mm. No, no, my parents weren't dead. Rent in that building was just really cheap. But my parents showed me no <laughs> affection. <laughs> And as soon as they could, they sent me off I mean, to If my baby had a beard, I probably wouldn't show that bitch affection as well. What the fuck? Boarding school. What the fuck is born with problems? But boards were always their passion, not mine. I tried to run away, mm. but they caught me. Who's and they? boy, did they throw the book at me. Oh. Alas, books? I did not dodge in Ooh. time. I spent the next few years in a coma. How big of a boy is this town, town, Pueblo Acoma. And the people there taught me oh, how to Acoma. read American. They also had a local library, and I spent my days buried. 
buried in books, in learning as much as I could about the arts. Ninja. And once someone noticed me buried under those books and they rescued me. I knew I wanted to teach default character presets like yourselves. What? All about Shakespeare. Editor's note. I started Googling Shakespeare and I got kind of distracted. So I don't know, here's, here's a wave file. You can do something with this. I'm, put him in like a classroom or something. Okay. All right. Listen, okay. which country's classroom? Because if I'm in American classroom, I need a helmet and a body. Attention, armor, everybody. Brother. I am your new teacher. I you age. are a bunch of troubled inner Shit, city we're in America. All you know is shoot gun, fail test, and crime. But I'm here to teach you that Some actually big -ass books kids. and reading and stuff are actually pretty epic after all. Now, the earliest known written language is what, Mr. Single Parent Household? Damn. I don't know, teach, but you're never going to get through to me. Oh, really? Well, what if I go back in time? Back in time. In the long, long ago, Holy very few... Shit, how far back are we going with it? Read. It's too But to be on. fair, most of the written languages were kind of shit. This is cuneiform. The very first written language. Gune and it has far too much punctuation. Then eventually came along the Egyptians, and the they invented e emojis. But they would call them hieroglyphs. Mm. Anyway, the typical written thing would go like this. A uh, message for you, sir. Big bird, man with stick, man setting, circle. Oh, more bills. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Different words. Eventually that became quite annoying to the Phoenicians. Who were a kind of Lebanese. Hmm. Mm. Very progressive, especially for those days. Now they came That's up when with they're a still girls. What? Better idea. They started going, ah. Ah. Hey, that sounds a bit like an A. B. That sounds a bit like a B. C. And so on and so on. Until we had a proto form of the alphabet. Oh, what the fuck now, is that? The Greeks shit? thought that was pretty neato, but they said, let's come up with an even better version with 22 letters, and soon that will be like English. Oh, oral history. Oh, 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 Greeks more like geeks. Oh, got em. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let me tell you about something highly relatable. Okay. Of the surviving it's Greek relatable. works, the greatest hits were the Iliad and the Odyssey. Mm -hmm. Now, because most people couldn't read, eh? Hey, this stuff wasn't <laughs> written down for a very long time. And instead, it was memorized and oh performed. My God. And when they performed it, they used one of these, mm. a lyre. Lyre. Now, this was great for conveying tone, right? So here's a soft bit. Doo -doo -doo. But then this is a big dramatic bit. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Now, the Iliad starts with this music guy, is good. Menelaus, king of Sparta. And he has a wife, Helen. And she is a very fine lady. And then the prince of... Is she, though? Is she? Troy shows read up. This His book. name is Paris. Paradox. And he goes, I'm damn shorty. We had to read this school. A a wooga. Hey, hey, that's what he'd say. Right? He and life. he and his boys abduct her <laughs> and took her all the way back to his crib in Troy. Now this makes Menelaus quite Troy. miffed. Hey, hey, hold on there, buster. He declares a turf war, but he can't win it alone. <laughs> so he calls on his homies. Odysseus, yeah, lot, homies. king of Ithaca, and Achilles, the best drive-by shooter of all time. <laughs> but Achilles is not in the mood to fight. Achilles was a beautiful maiden as a war prize bag. A man and came and took the maid for himself. Achilles felt so dishonored by the whole thing. He refused help in Trojan War. The revenge to kill him being prevented from had bad teaching a particular one of low nobility. So the gets whole of the Iliad is yeah, basically I mean, spent trying shit. to convince this guy to get involved. Complicated. Please? No. Please? No. Eventually, they win the turf war by being very sneaky. They make a giant horse, which is the Trojan symbol of horse. Troy, and they leave it at the front gate. That's their way of saying, oh, I guess you win. We're walking away now. <laughs> and meanwhile, thousands of soldiers go off and hide in some bushes. And the Trojans are very suspicious, but they can see that the Greek ships are actually Wait, sailing in away horse, into the horizon. The so they know, ship. oh, it must be real, must be real. We've won. Some virgin had the ships being full of soldiers and they were sailing back at night, rather than hiding someone laying away from We've nightfall. won the many years war. But actually, there's almost no one on those ships, and there's a surprise inside the horse. Later that night, when everyone's asleep, boiling hot sat everywhere. And also some soldiers wearing thermal protection. 
there was no hot tiki or some elite soldier SS. Hmm. Of the time, some they get out and blah, they blah, blah, open blah, the yeah. gates, and then everyone comes out of the bushes, running the gates into are the a city, bit bigger than that. kill everybody. <laughs> After they win the war, Odysseus heads <laughs> back home to Ithaca. However, on his way, he starts making beef with Poseidon, mm. god of the sea. And Poseidon is mad at the disrespect, so he sends Odysseus on a long ass detour, and that detour Damn. is the story of the Odyssey. Pretty epic, right, kids? <laughs> nah, brother. I fucking Whoa, hate teach, reading that that's shit. That's fire. I'm starting to come around. That Odysseus guy is literally me. Yeah, I'm gonna try that horse trick on my ops. Homer from Homer's Odyssey is not a character in the what? story. He's the guy who tells the story, oh and then people God. write it down. Now, moving chronologically ben, to the ben next traveling? big one, you've got the Bible. Oh, and shit. for all practical purposes, this was basically hey, an Henry. oral tradition too. Henry's Most people to were illiterate us. by this point. Oh, my and the Bible was, was around the episode for men and 1.5% for women, but it's more complicated. She won't go to grammar school, but clever. It's a rap, reading in Latin. And pretty much only the clergy knew Latin, mm. so they would be the one to recite it to people. It says that the cute lady at the front should go on a date with me, please. Is that what it says? Listen, the rules are the rules. Does God I didn't say that? Say it, the book did. There Damn. was a translated version into English, God's the Wycliffe's yeah. Bible. And you better believe that thing was a threat to the order. So they made that illegal to own. Oh, what? And if you were found with an unlicensed copy, the punishment would be death. Yeah, medieval shit. So it shit. remained. The Bible was read to the people. Now, by the 1300s came Chaucer, who wrote the Canterbury Chaucer. Tales, and that was a pretty big deal. Get this book now. Because it's one of the first <laughs> significant works written in Middle English. It describes a bunch of people making a pilgrimage from Southwark to Canterbury, which is here to here, <laughs> which was the longest journey anyone had ever made in the 1300s. Ever? God now damn. it's a whole series of stories, and most of them can be boiled down to how come if everyone is on a pilgrimage, you're all so focused on material stuff? Oh, hypocrites much? Dong. It's now the 1600s, and they've updated all the textbooks from Middle English to regular. Uh -huh. In 1601, King James I said, that, All right. That homie looking dapper as Fuck. You know what? Let's God everyone damn. have a copy of the Bible they can read. Let's do a King can't read. James Bible. I won't feature in it, but I'd love to be in the title. <laughs> and he commissioned a committee of scholars <laughs> to rewrite the thing in English. Mm. God's language. It took eight years. <laughs> and that brings us to Shakespeare. And he's a huge deal. Boarding? Oh, look, we're out of time. Oh, oh, but sir, oh, mess. but sir, we're supposed to do penis inspection day today. No, no, there's no time. Roll I the end card. Please, please. The end. Oh. All right, that's the lesson. You watched the whole video. Or at least you had... Okay, brother, at some point I think we lost the plot. Put it on in <laughs> the this background video. <laughs> while you scrolled your phone. Yes, the and real, I couldn't brother. be prouder of you. Hell. There's just one more quick thing I want to tell you about. Uh-huh. Theater props. For example, props. this gun. Now, the thing... Oh, look who it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it's just an actor. We all know that is the it? real Lincoln is dead. Well, you know, when he fell asleep on the tracks of the Underground Railroad. Anyway, I... this thing is super realistic. Mm -hmm. Although the trigger is a little loose... Right, row. This is when you run. You run, brother. Oh, I can't believe you did that. But I won't tell anyone. Hey, Lincoln got some cute feet, though. And, uh, you know, in fact, good news. <laughs> I'm going to make you my little protege. Uh, and I will be protégé? your protojo. <laughs> and I got so many more lessons hey, to teach. Please don't. Oh. Still here, huh? Yeah, it's just a little cleaning. Uh -huh. More good news. Next video is almost done. It'll be oh. on incognito mode, and it's oh, about shit. the art. Oh, that channel. And the next main channel video is also nearly done. Oh. That'll be out shortly after. Oh. If you're looking for more content in the meanwhile, we have another channel called How Story Mode. How many channels mode. does he have? The Metal Gear Solid and Forspoken video. Okay. All right. Let me know what we should check out next. I haven't seen an Internet Historian video in like two years. Well, since this one. It was... Yeah, it's... 
It's wild, brother. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about theater. Or not the CEOs, shit like that. And I'll see y'all next time. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody.